How are y'all doing today? That was the Christmas song, which is a Christmas standard, and it's a chord melody. So today I'm gonna give, be giving you a lesson on how to play that best. <clears throat> so, first things first, this is quite an advanced song. So if I, you know, before going through this song, I would suggest making sure you have all of your basic major seven, minor seven, dominant seven shapes down. I will be putting some charts on screen so maybe you can help start to learn those if this is your first time but I'll have other videos on my channel going over more basic guitar uh, chords and stuff like that that will be used in this video. Alright so first things first this song is in the key of D flat major so our very first chord is going to be D flat major. What do you know? <laughs> so we're on the fourth fret here we're playing this shape and what we're going to immediately do is switch from this D flat major shape to this D flat major shape. So this D flat major, you can think of it as like, you know, F major down here, like, you know, it like this, then you can just slide that all the way up to our ninth fret. It's going to be the same thing, same shape, just on the ninth fret. So what we're going to be doing is we're playing D flat on the fourth fret, which is the melody right there with our pinky going to the ninth fret because the melody is with our index finger on the highest string. So real quickly, we've got. So this is F minor seven. And what I'm doing is I'm playing a C natural with my pinky, which is the eighth fret of the E string, the high E string. And that is our melody. So, so quickly, we've got. And we lift. And we put our pinky on the B string ninth fret. Alright, so we've got and we're gonna come to F minor seven here. Alright, so um, you'll see the shape on screen. So all I'm doing there is just using my middle finger to play the, between this half note. And then this is G flat major seven. And we come we return to D flat major seven. And we use our pinky to play the sixth fret of the E string. And immediately we go to A flat minor seven with the melody note on the E string as well, fourth fret. Then we hit this note, which is the B string seventh fret. And we've got our D flat seven. We lift our middle finger to play the B string fourth fret into our G flat major seven with our melody note being also on the B string second fret. So with that part again, we, after we come back. And then we have our C flat seven. So I'm just playing your basic dominant seven voicing and then the melodies with your pinky. And you'll see me sometimes play around with that. I'll do a little, just to be fancy, add a little trill. You can do whatever you want. And we're going to come back and play D flat add nine, which is slightly different than D flat major seven. It takes out all of the like identifying chords and really puts the root because that's what the melody is, is the, the root note of D flat on top. So we're really hearing that instead of the third on top, which the other voicing would give us. And what we're going to do is play the melody and we slide that shape up to our uh, e flat minor seven, we got. But we're still playing this as just an add nine chord, basically. Then we're gonna lift our pinky. We go. You see that? So that's we're on the we're on the G string now. It's between the sixth fret and the eighth fret. 
But since we're holding the chord, our sixth fret is already barred, so we don't really need to worry about that. Then we come down here to F minor seven on the first fret, with the melody note being on top. So that's F minor seven on the first fret of the E string as our melody. Then we've got the fourth fret of the E string, then the sixth fret of the E string, and then we jump into our G half diminished, which you'll see the shape on the screen. And I'm gonna use my index finger to bar and hit the sixth, sorry, the eighth fret of the E string, which is the melody note, C natural. Then we've got C seven sharp five with our index finger hitting the sixth fret of the E string, so that's a B flat, uh, at which point, we go to F major seven. So the melody note being your pinky. And then we've got F sharp minor seven. B 13. So I'll go slowly over that part after we've got our G half diminished. F major seven. And then we've got F sharp minor seven, or I'll call it G flat minor seven. Uh, sorry, yeah, G flat minor seven. You see that? B thirteen oh, with the melody note there. E major seven. Then we've got E flat minor seven, but we keep we keep this note on top. So we've got and then another A flat thirteen. Resolve to our D flat add nine. So that is the entire first day. I'm gonna quickly play through that and then we're gonna go on learning the second day, okay? So, uh, real quick. top of the second A, and what we're immediately going to have to do is replay the, the first A. So it's got almost all of the in, same same parts up through the G half diminished. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get I'm gonna start there in the just G half diminished. Right it's after the F minor seven. Now we have the second A. So what we're gonna do is we hit this note, which is uh, D flat the root note on the ninth fret of the E string. And then we're gonna jump to F minor seven with the melody note being the B string ninth fret. So we got. And then we've got B flat seven with the melody still being on the B string during this chord. We got. And then that note again, the D flat on the ninth fret. And we've got E flat minor seven with our pinky. So that's our second ending, all right? So quickly. Now we're gonna go on to the bridge. So first things first, we've got these notes. So this is the G string, sixth and fifth fret. All right, six, five, six. And then we're gonna hit our A flat minor seven with the B natural on top which is gonna be found on the seventh fret of the E string. And then we're gonna grab D flat. So we got. And we're gonna walk it down the scale. into G flat major seven. We're gonna repeat that same idea. Now we're gonna find those same melody notes, but now we're gonna be on the D string. 
and we're going to be on the 11th and 10th fret of the D string. And we're going to hop right into G flat minor 7. We immediately use our pinky on the B string. Then we're going to go to B13. See that? So we've got... Uh, notes we've got are all in the B string it's the sixth fret to the ninth fret to the seventh fret and then we jump into our B flat minor seven with that note still on top this is a seven sharp five then we've got E flat minor seven which I play like this because it's comfortable for me but a lot of people know it this way you can hear they're almost identical chords. You really can't tell a difference. So I'm gonna play it this way. And then I walk my bass line down into A flat 13, A flat seven sharp five into our D flat nine. And then we have our final A and our final A is the exact same as the second A. So we're gonna use that second ending and that'll be it. And what you saw me do is tag that second ending. I think I tagged it three times. And then instead of resolving directly back to D flat, I went to D natural, a half step up, major seven. Well, actually I'm using major nine here, but it's essentially the same thing. And then I resolve back to D flat major seven. These are all just licks on D flat major seven. You can do whatever you want. And with that, You'll be playing the Christmas or uh, the Christmas song. I almost forgot the name. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I'll be many, many more instructional guitar videos coming your way. And please, if there's anything you think I could improve on or learn from, please leave it down below in those comments, and I'll I will read every single one of them. I guarantee you. Awesome. Hope you have a great day and happy learning.